Really? Hold on, hold on, hold on. My wife helped me get my winter gear. She wants to see how I look, so uh, Ellie helped me take a video. That'll be 100 bucks now. <laughs> they call me the heavy guy. Yes, I am built heavy. But they call me the heavy guy because I'm licensed to uh, run heavier equipment, bigger trucks, but I'll tow anything. <laughs> So right now we got a call out for a vehicle that was involved in an accident with a moose. Three, maybe four people are killed every year in Alaska from a bad moose accident. We're calling four-legged pedestrians. They just tend to wander off on the road like they own the place. <laughs> it's real hard to see them in the darkness. They blend in with the trees. Whoever's driving the vehicle or the passenger, chances of they could be in a real dangerous situation where a moose can actually go through a windshield and hurt them too. I've seen where it fold the vehicle in half. That's how bad the hits were. People in the lower 48s don't understand how ginormous a moose is, and it has uh, uh, big horns on it. <laughs> but hitting a moose is a uh, big danger to the driver or whoever's in the vehicle. Worst moose I ever dealt with, the whole roof got sheared off by the moose. And there was moose all over that whole vehicle. So when I towed it into the shop, <laughs> they named that vehicle the convertible minivan. I'm just trying to get past these vehicles that are driving slow in front of me. The state troopers wants us out there as fast as we can. This car would move a little faster. Come on, really, dude? It looks like we're rolling up on scene right now. I see uh, red and blues. It looks pretty bad. And right there's the moose. Every time the call comes in for a moose hit, we're just hoping the driver survives. It's going. Yeah, he did a he did a number on that truck. This looks like a bad hit, and I mean, especially on this dangerous corner, people go crazy. Turns out the driver is fine. Family members got him home and uh, let the insurance company take care of the rest. But uh, he was really lucky to walk away. As you see, we got a bunch of moose hair. If this truck was a little lower. That windshield would have been cracked, and chances of the moose would have been in there. Now it's my job to clean up the truck while the harvesters are uh, cleaning up the moose. Moose meat, you get, you get that feeling that, oh, I'm going to fill up the fridge now. It's actually just like eating a steak. Everybody who wants to, they sign up on a list of basically roadkill. You sign up, you fill out a whole packet, if you're accepted, pretty much everybody's accepted. Our dispatch just goes down the list. Do you guys want a moose? If you pick up the phone, you say, yep, I want it, then it's yours. Can I get a piece? Just take this part right here. <laughs> is that good? No, I'm just messing with you guys. The moose is so big, you can't really pick it up and throw it in the back of your car. So they're just going to harvest the meat, put them in bags, throw it in their car, and take it home. Somebody got their uh, meat for the winter. I'd like to see that. A moose that size with that weight and that much meat, for an average family, it could last almost up to a year. For me and my family, it will last about six months. <laughs> moose pot roast. Mm. Grilled moose brisket, the best. Moose steak. Moose sausage.